got a cold. I'm miserable. No fun intro this time around. <coughs> it's March of Robots. I'm drawing robots lately and I did one traditionally. So let's see how I did that. Let's go. So, sorry guys, as I said, I did contract a cold, so my voice is a little bit all over the place and I'm going to try to keep this short because I don't feel fantastic. So I usually start out these drawings with an underlay drawing and this is mostly to see how it will fit into 3D space, so I use rough uh, 3D volumes to put the uh, design together and sometimes I go more into detail. I have two approaches, either go quite uh, into detail with the underlay drawing and then I can have a nicer crisper line work when I start actually with the black or I can just give hints and suggestions with the underlying uh, drawing so where the 3D shapes would be and then I explore with the black. And I went more with the second approach in this case and that is also usually my style. I do tend to have quite uh, messy and dirty drawings because I just enjoy exploring. You can also see here I. I do tend to jump from one side of the image to the other and one thing that I keep on doing and I can't cure myself from it is just putting too much detail early on. But that's, so that's, that's why I also do the underlying drawing because there I definitely won't put in too much detail. And yeah, just in this case you can also forget some parts and then jump back and uh, add some extra stuff with a, with a grace and then just come back with a black. So yeah, this goes a little bit against my mantra as an industrial designer, form follows function, because yeah, this was just pure having fun and trying to see what sort of cool robot I can do. But also you don't have to worry because this is not a final product. So these, these would be exploration sketches that you can take to an art director or a producer. And then you can see, all right, which, which, which one of several of these would work. And then based on that, obviously do some research and see how you can make it more functional. Uh, what I do like to add to make it functional, you can see those uh, swivels, the, the small arrow that just shows the direction where the legs connect to the body. Stuff like that comes <laughs> from an industrial design background. And here I already started detailing, but as you can see, I also don't put too much effort into detailing, so I use quite a bit of dark space where I don't know actually what's happening and I let the viewer's eye and imagination fill that part in. So you don't have to over detail everything, just add a couple of nice section lines here and there and the rest you can just have a, a, a suggestion for it. And then yeah, I, I like to stay with uh, grays because colors are just hard and especially coloring with markers, I'm not the best at it, but just adding the, the basic tones and the basic shading with grays gives you always a really nice effect. And I tend to use three to four different shades because I always start out way too light and I end up a little bit going uh, darker, which is also not a problem at all because you can't go from dark to, to light with uh, markers, but it's much easier to go from uh, light to dark. And yes, basically this is my approach for these sorts of drawings. Uh, I promise next time I will have a little bit better put video together and I'll also go back to writing a script because I'm just, yeah, I'm commenting on what I see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, if you have any sorts of uh, questions, please uh, don't hesitate to write a comment and just ask them and feel free to uh, subscribe and uh, click that uh, like button and maybe follow me on Instagram as well. I post there quite often. And hopefully see you guys next week and that time I will be fully recovered. Bye bye.